Hello guys, welcome back to Colors of Happiness, and today we're doing part two of reading the Week Junior News. We left off on page six, so let's go ahead and get started. Around the world. Paris, France. Mayor swims in scene. I don't know how to pronounce that. On July 17th, Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo swam in the Seine River to show that it is, it is clean enough to be used in the 2024 Olympics. Swimming in the river has been banned since 1923 because the polluted water was a risk to people's health. More than $1.5 billion was spent to clean up the river so it can be used for open water swimming races. Here's Mayor Anne Hidalgo. A polar bear in, in Canada. New technology to track polar bears. Scientists have found a new way to monitor polar bears. In the past, tracking tags were attached to the animal's ears and had to be removed manually. The new tags, which stick into their fur, will fall off after a few weeks. These tags will help scientists learn more about the animals and their movements. As polar bears increasing, increasingly spend more time on land, monitor, monitor, monitoring their locations will also protect people who could come into contact with a bear. A graduate of this school. Joanne, Joanne at Spain, first class of bell ringers graduates. Graduates, a school in Spain is teaching the ancient art of ringing church bells by hand. Bell tolling, bell tolling ringing has been used throughout history to communicate important news, but most church bells have been automated since the 1980s. Now, 18 students have graduated from the first class of Valdian ba ba Bass School of Bell Ringers, which teaches which teaches people how to toll in different sequences and tones. About 60 students are enrolled for the fall. Kigali, Rwanda. Election win for president. President Paul Kagame. On July 15th, Rwandan President Paul Kagame was re-elected for a fourth term in office. He has been president since 2000. A president could serve only two terms under previous rule, rule but people voted to remove that limit in 2015. Kagame won more than 99% of the vote in this year's election, but he has been accused of banning and silencing potential opponents. Greece. Drones at the beach. Greek Greek authorities are using drones equipped with cameras to patrol beaches in an attempt to enforce new rules. These laws were created after residents complained about businesses blocking public beaches with lounge chairs. To prevent overcrowding, the rules limit how many rental chairs, beach beds, and umbrellas can be laid out and how close they can be to the water. An app called My Coast also allows people to report beach violations. A beach in Varkiza. The Week Junior, August 2nd, 2024, page 6. Around the world. Evan Gersh Gershkovich. Yes, Yekaterinburg, Russia. U.S. journalist sentenced. A Russian court sentenced Evan Gen Gershkovich, a reporter for the Wall Street Journal, to 16 years in prison on, charging, on charges of spying for the U.S., Gershkovic was arrested during a reporting trip in March 2023 and has been imprisoned ever since. His family, his employer, and the U.S. government called the trial a sham, a sh a sham, and vowed to fight for his release. Protesters in Dhaka, Dhaka, Bangladesh, rule change after prote protests. Bangladesh's top court has changed a rule about employ employment after student protests. The rule reserved 56% of government jobs for specific groups of people, including 30% for relatives of those who fought in Bangladesh's War of Independence from Pakistan in 1971. Protesters argued that it was unfair to people outside of these categories, especially because youth and un unemployment is high. Now 7% of jobs in the government will be re reserved. Some of the rare eggs. Tasmania, Australia, a legal egg collection sees. A collection of 3,404 rare eggs with more than $260,000 was discovered in Tasmania during an investigation into illegal bird trading. Some of the eggs are believed to be formed from rare species that are at risk of extinction, including the swift parrot and the 40 spotted parrot.
Dalot, which is found only on Tasmania's Bru Bruni Island. An agreement among more than 180 countries protects endangered species from being bought and sold. The the whale. Oh, to go New Zealand. Rare whale found on shore. What appears to be an extremely rare spade-toothed whale has been discovered on a beach in Ortago on New Zealand's South Island. Spade-toothed whales live in the deep ocean, and one has never been spotted alive at sea. Although the whale that washed up on shore died, scientists said they look forward to studying it to confirm and learn more about its species. Dubai United Arab Emirates plans for a green highway. A design company called URB has revealed plans to transform a major road into a 40-mile-long, eco-friendly highway. The project features a tram line powered by solar panels, which could also provide electricity to nearby homes. Alongside it are lanes, are lanes for vehicles, bicycles, and ped pedestrians. Ped sorry, pedestrians. The plants also include planting 1 million trees to help cool down the city and provide cleaner air. The Highway. August 2nd, 2024, The Week Junior, page 7. The Big Debate. Should private citizens go to space? Some say space tourism is an incredible opportunity. Others think it's a big risk. What you need to know. In 2004, the first privately built crewed spacecraft went to space. In 2022, the first space flight with a crew of all private citizens took off. That year, for the first time, NASA sent a crew on a private spaceship to the International Space Station. Most Americans say they would not be interested in going to space and orbiting Earth. A trip to space for a private citizen could cost up to $500,000. Fun fact, the first space tourist was U.S. businessman Dennis Tito, who paid Russia's space agency to take him into orbit in 2001. Here are the private citizens who traveled to space on a Blue Origins flight. From the 1950s to the early 2000s, American space exploration was overseen by NASA, the U.S. Space Agency, and funded by the government. NASA trained former military pilots and scientists to be professional astronauts. In recent years, however, private companies like Blue Origin, SpaceX, and, Vir and Virgin Galactic have been launching their own trips to space with private citizens aboard. Business leaders, explorers, and TV stars have paid huge sums to go into orbit. Some people say it's an exciting new era in space exploration, but others think sending untrained people to space is a big mistake. What do you think? Should private citizens go to space? Yes, space belongs to everyone. Sending private citizens into space can enhance our knowledge without requiring NASA to spend money. Government funds could pay for other things that would better serve Americans. Plus, private companies that go to space develop and test new technology and create jobs and revenue. And regular people get a chance to contribute to society. They can do experiments in space and help scientists learn how spaceflight affects the human body. People who have been to space say it's a profoundly moving experience that inspires deep appreciation for our planet. If private citizens want to go, want to go and can pay for it, they should be able to. Yes, three reasons private citizens should go to space. One, if private companies pay for space exploration, the U.S. government saves money it could use for other things. Two, regular people can make money. I mean, can make important con contributions that will benefit humankind. Three, going to space is an awe-inspiring journey that should be available to anyone who can afford it. No, the risks are out of this world. Spaceflight is dangerous. A recent study of private citizens who have done it found that they all showed negative health effects after three days in space. Professional astronauts are likely to have better training and be better prepared for the hazards that come with spaceflight. Space tourism can also be bad for the environment. Studies have found that, that the rockets launched by private space companies damage the atmosphere and cause other forms of pollution. And the people leading the push for private space exploration are some of the richest people in the world. Their money could be put to better use helping people on our planet. 
No, three reasons private citizens should not go to space. One, space flight, space flight is dangerous and is best left to professional astronauts. Two, private companies sending rockets and other equipment to space can cause harm to the environment. And three, the billions of dollars spent on private space travel could be used to support important causes on Earth. <clears throat> and <clears throat> if you are subscribed to The Week Junior, there's one of these polls or big debates every week. So every week... It shows last week's poll and the results on that. So last week's poll was, last week we asked if streets should be closed so kids can play. And more than half of the people who read voted to keep streets open. 55% said no and 45% said yes. So 45% yes, 55% no. What do you think? Now now that you've read a, read a bit more about this issue, visit kidsoftheweekjunior.com slash poll so you can vote in our debate. Vote yes if you think private citizens should go to space or no if you don't. We'll publish the results next week. So you can visit this site right here and you can vote in this debate and share your opinion. And then the goal of the big debate is to present two sides of an issue fairly in order to stimulate discussion and allow our readers to make up their minds. The views on this page do not reflect those of The Week Junior and the page is not funded by third parties. The Week Junior, August 2nd, 2024, page 8. People. Unveiling Earth's Past. Maya Way has takes readers on a rock learning journey with her new book. As an explorer, scientist, and author, Maya Wei has used the storytelling and scientific insight to help people foster a deeper appreciation for the planet. Her new illustrated book, What a Rock Can Reveal, which she wrote for kids, is about the history and importance of rocks and geological formation. Growing up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Wei has, age 37, loved exploring nature. After collecting pebbles on the playground, she and her brother would make up scientific names for them. Science helped me understand that the world in a way that nothing else really did, she told the week junior. Wei has learned a degree in geology, earned a degree in geology, the study of rocks and minerals from Smith College and a doctorate in earth science at Ohio State University. She pursued a career in science journalism because she felt writing was a way to engage others. Wei Han has written for publications including Science and the New York Times. When she was putting together what a rock can reveal, Wei has wanted it to wanted it to feel like a series of adventures rather than a textbook one spread features a story about traveling down a river to show how rocks shape its flow for example another set atop a volcano explains how lava turned into rocks the book was illustrated by sonia Polito, and way Haas was excited to collaborate with her on the vibrant artwork and showcasing millions of years of Earth's geologic history way Haas said she hopes the book inspires kids to want to protect that landscape a little bit more her, here's Wei Haas's new book, What a Rock Can Reveal, where they come from, and what they tell us about our planet. Here's Maya Wei Haas. Wow, a meteorite found in Algeria in 2020 is estimated to be 4.6 billion years old. TV icon set to retire. Charles Barkley, a former NBA star who then became a celeb celebrated sports commentator, announced that after 25 years on the air, the announce, I mean the 2024 to 2025 NBA season will be his last. Barkley, age 61 and from Alabama, was an NBA player from 1984 to 2000 as a member of the Philadelphia 76ers, Phoenix Suns, and Houston Rockets. He joined TNT's long-running show inside the NBA in 2000 and is known for his direct and fiery opinions. Of his work with his NBA family, Barkley said, My heart is full with joy and gratitude. Charles Barkley Manon Gallagly, a seeding success. Manning Gallagly, a 101-year-old planet plant scientist based in West Virginia, has dedicated more than 70 years to developing tomato seeds for home gardeners. This year marked the re release of his final variety, Manning's Majesty, which quickly gained popularity among followers of Gallagly's tomatoes. Raised in rural Arkansas, Gallagly began breeding tomatoes in 1950 at West Virginia University and created three tomatoes admired for their look and taste. University... University volunteers helped Gallagly on Manon's Majesty, which had 2,000 email seed orders within days of its release. 
overheard. I think that this tour has become my entire life. Singer-songwriter Taylor Swift, age 34, on the upcoming and end of the Eras tour, the global sensation that began in March 2023 and has since become the highest grossing tour in history. August 2nd, 2024, The Week Junior, page 9. Animals in the environment. Fancy feet. Lynx can spread their toes wide and use their large paws like snowshoes to walk over snow and ground. An Iberian lynx. A call for bird detectives. Researchers are asking bird lovers to pick up their binoculars and look for 126 species that haven't been seen in the wild for t- in 10 years or more, such as the Hawaiian oo. Experts created the list of lost birds. Search for lostbirds.org so people can search for the birds and share their findings. And oh, Iberian lynx saved from extinction. Conservationists recently received the good news that the Iberian lynx, a medium-sized wildcat, has returned from near extinction. Found throughout the mountainous Iberian peninsula in Europe, this lynx was once considered the world's most endangered feline, but recent efforts have helped increase its population. The Iberian lynx was first seen in Western Europe in the early 1800s. During the 1900s, the population began to steadily decline due to loss of sand, human activity, and the disappearance of the big cat's primary food source, the European rabbit. By 2001, 62 adults, like 62 adult Iberian lynx, were living in the wild. European rabbits were the lynx, are the lynx main prey, right here. In 2002, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, UCN, classified the Iberian lynx as critically endangered on its red list, which tracks threatened species. Several conservation groups came together to save the breed from extinction. Their efforts included protecting and restoring crucial habitats, breeding lynx in captivity, and working to reduce lynx deaths due to traffic accidents and poaching, illegal hunting. One project sought to prevent diseases in European rabbits, raising the rabbit population to ensure the wild cat cats had enough food. Teams also reintroduced more than 400 lynx to the Iberian Peninsula. Now scientists are seeing the results of their efforts. In 2022, about 648 mature lynx were, li- were living in the wild uh, in Spain and Portugal, which make up most of the Iber- Iberian Peninsula. Today, there are more than 2,000 lynx. The IUCN has upgraded the Iberian lynx's classification to vulnerable, which means the species population has increased significantly but still needs to be protected. Experts are still concerned about the lynx's future. Environmental changes, diseases, human activity, and shifts in the rabbit population will probably continue to affect the species' growth. Still, conservationists are encouraged by this milestone. Francisco Javier Salcedo Ortiz, which coordinated some of the efforts to save the Iberian lynx, said this was the greatest recovery of a cat species ever achieved through conservation. Here's the place of the week. Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve, Alaska. With volcanoes, glaciers, and evergreen forests, America's largest national park offers dramatic views and a breathtaking diversity of wildlife. About 35% of the park is covered in glaciers, including the 127-mile-long Bagley Ice Field, and some parts of the remote wilderness are only access- accessible by boat or plane. Many animals live here, including stellar sea lions, copper river salmon, black-billed magpies, moose, dolls, sheep and three species of bears. The park has one active volcano, Mount Wrangell, Wrangell, which last erupted in 1930. A, a doll sheep. Page 10 of the week junior, August 2nd, 2024. Animals and the environment. Ancient roots. Northern rot, northern Rata trees have been known to live for up to 1,000 years. The walking tree. Walking tree wins top award. An ancient tree that looks as though it is strolling across the landscape has won first place at the annual tree of the year competition in New Zealand.
the 105 foot tall tree is in northern Rata, one of New Zealand's tallest tree species. It is known as the walking tree because its two trunks, roots, and long branches make it look similar to an ent, a tree like creature from J.R.R. Tolkien series The Lord of the Rings. Northern Rata's start life as epiphytes, plants that grow on top of other trees, high in the forest canopy. As the plant grows, its roots eventually reach the ground, where they wrap around the supporting tree completely, forming a, forming a massive trunk and root system. No one knows exactly how old the walking tree is, but its exist- existence was documented on New Zealand's South Island by 1875. It is the last surviving tree in an area that was once covered with trees and shrubs until humans cut them down for farming. The tree was the clear winner of the contest, receiving 42% of the votes. It just strode out into the into the lead right from the very start, said organizer Brad Cadwallader. Walder, Walder. Animal of the Week. Mandrill. Guinness World Records has declared Nikki, a 37-year-old mandrill at Arizona's Phoenix Zoo, the world's oldest mandrill monkey living in captivity. To celebrate her big birthday, the zoo gave Nikki a special box filled with berry treats. Lifespan, 20 years in the wild. Habitat, rainforest in West Central Africa. Size, up to 3 feet, weighing 77 pounds. Diet, seeds, roots, fruits, nuts, small animals. Fun fact, small groups of groups often join together, forming hunt hordes of as many as 1,200 mandrills. Good week such bad week. Good week. Wolverines. Over the next three years, 30 female wolverines and 15 males are being released in Colorado. Hunters wiped out the state's wolverine population more than 100 years ago, but a new law is now in place to protect them. Versus bad week. Vaquitas. In the latest population count, researchers so, researchers, so sorry, researchers saw six to eight vaquitas remaining in the Gulf of California. Previous surveys spotted about ten of the critically endangered per per poor poises. Experts hope more vaquitas may be living in areas they didn't check. Ask an expert. Why do lyrebirds imitate other things instead of making their own noise? Willow 9, Texas. Fiona Fiona Backhouse, researcher, Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Lyrebirds imitate the sounds of other animals and also sing their own songs. Imitation takes more skill, so males use my my mimicry to show off and attract a mate. Females mimic the sounds of predators and mobbing birds' flocks. This may scare animals away from reading the nest. A lyre bird. Do you have a question for an animal expert? You can send it to hello at theweekjunior.com. Find out more about the Cornell Lab of or- Ornithology at birds.cornell.edu. So you can ask your own question for an, an expert. Pretty cool. August 2nd, 2024. The Week Junior. Page 11. All about Alcatraz. It is a small island with a rich history. Alcatraz Island has has a complex past that dates back hundreds of years. Wow, there were 14 escape attempts involving a total of 36 prisoners at Alcatraz during its time as a federal prison. Did you know that the maximum security prison on Alcatraz was known as The Rock? Alcatraz Island is about 1.5 miles from the shore of San Francisco. Literary Inspiration Alcatraz helped inspire Azkaban Prison in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter fantasy series. United States Penitentiary Alcatraz Island, area 12 acres, 1.5 miles to transport dock, only government Bone boats permitted. Others must keep off 200 yards. No one allowed ashore without a pass. A rocky California island in San Francisco, San Francisco Bay has been the site of a military fort, a prison, and a major Native American protest. Early history of Alcatraz. Here's Juan Manuel de Ayala. The name Alcatraz comes from Spanish explorer Juan, 
maybe it's Juan. I think it's Juan. Juan Manuel de Ayala, Ayala, who named the island Isla de Los Alcatraces, Island of the Pelicans, while exploring San Francisco Bay in 1775. Alcatraces eventually became Alcatraz. In 1850, shortly after, California became part of the U.S. President Milly, Millard Fillmore declared the island a military reservation and construction began on Fortress Alcatraz in 1853. The first lighthouse on the Pacific coast opened in, on the island in 1854. The U.S. Army took command of Fortress Alcatraz in 1859 and remained there for several decades. In 1907, in a sign of the island's future purpose, Fortress Alcatraz became a military prison. Here's Al Capone. The prison years. Fortress Alcatraz was, was expensive to, to maintain, leading the army to transfer responsibility for Alcatraz to the Federal Bureau of Prisons in 1933. During its time as a prison, Alcatraz was considered the strongest jail in America. No prisoner is confirmed to have successfully escaped Alcatraz and reached freedom. See the box at right for details on one attempt. We're going to read this next. The facility typically held between 260 and 275 people, including some of the country's most infamous pr criminals, such as the notorious gangster Al Capone. Due to high costs, the prison was eventually closed in 1963. The 1962 Escape from Alcatraz The most well-known attempt to escape from Alcatraz was hatched by three men, Frank Morris and brothers John and Clarence England, in 1962. They used crude rocks to loosen the walls of their cells around the air vents. On June 11th, after months of planning, Morris and the England brothers made their getaway, leaving dum dummies in their beds to fool the guards. From the, sorry, from the island shore, they launched a makeshift raft into the bay. What happened to them afterward is a mystery. Equipment is believed to have been used by the escapees was later found, but no other traces of the men were ever discovered. Here's a picture. Page 12 of the Wheat Junior, August 2nd, 2024. A dummy fooled the guards. From left, Clarence and John Anglin and Frank Morris. August 2nd, 2024 of the Wheat Junior, page 13. Act activists on the island. Native American Occupation Once the prison had closed, Native American activists made efforts to claim Alcatraz for their people starting in 1964. In 1969, San Francisco's American Indian Center burned down. This prompted a group of college students and other activists, who called themselves Indians of all tribes, to begin occupying Alcatraz. They reclaimed the island in the name of Native Americans and wanted to establish a university and cultural center. The number of people living there began to decline. However, in the U.S. government removed the last occupiers in June 1971. Today, today, the occupation is recognized for drawing global attention to the mistreatment of Native Americans and inspiring further activism. A Ferry to Alcatraz Modern Alcatraz Island. In 1972, President Richard Nixon created the Golden Gate National Re Recreation Area, which includes Alcatraz Island. The site opened to the public in 1973 after taking in 1973. After taking a ferry across the water, visitors can tour the famous prison building. The island was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1976 and named the National Historic Landmark in 1986. It also draws athletes seeking the challenges, a challenge of making the swim across the bay. Today, Alcatraz is considered one of the top tourist destinations in the San Francisco area, drawing more than 1.4 million visitors each year. Okay, so this was the end of part two of reading the Wheat Junior News, and be sure to stay tuned for part th three, which will be coming out soon. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. You'll learn some great news, and yeah. Bye, guys.